in my opinion this motorcycle actually feels lighter than a interceptor 650 i can tell you the reason because all right this is going to be a small road so you can see how i'm going to take a u-turn uh, so just by looking at the seat height i thought this is going to be a good motorcycle for short riders uh, obviously this is kind of an okay motorcycle for short riders but i feel and the major question does this motorcycle have a ground clearance issue which has a softer suspension setup and 135 mm ground clearance it just goes everywhere kisses the hums and come back what's up youtube welcome back to another video on this channel and today we have the royal enfield super meteor 650 with me so this is the seventh day with the motorcycle and almost i think 1200 kilometers by now so i'm gonna wrap up this review so it's a quite cold morning here in bengaluru you can see that the sun is rising up over there and the moon is still over here very nice and beautiful morning and i'm just enjoying this motorcycle gliding through the highway let's talk about it whether really i have enjoyed it or not i'll get into each and everything first of all i have to tell you a disclaimer that this video might be a little longer because this is going to be my entire experience to all possible scenarios where i've taken this motorcycle so this is going to be a little longer video stay with me i have not many information where a general review can tell you this is just going to be kind of a user review so let's get to the core of the video first of all let's talk about the looks this motorcycle actually looks so beautiful it's so elegant and it's so eye-catchy because whenever i stop this motorcycle anywhere be it in the signal or in the parking lot or any public places people actually comes to me and ask what kind of a motorcycle this is because they see the royal enfield badging and they connect easily so if you're going to be an introvert you're going to have a hard time because i'm 100 percent sure that people will come to you and go and ask i mean with the basic question <laughs> Kitna deti hai? second question what's on road cost and more than youngsters i see people who are from an age of uh, 30 to 50 are coming even people who are in their uh, 60s also came to me and asked about this motorcycle they think that it's kind of a uh, Harley Davidson or that kind of a motorcycle because it's so huge whatever you see on this GoPro is not real just go to a showroom and experience this motorcycle and um, this is actually a very big motorcycle it actually kicks in that that kind of a love even in elders I'm, I'm happy to observe that and I don't know whether you'll believe this uh, I went for a small trip and from there few people actually took this motorcycle for a pre-wedding shoot so that's the kind of attention this motorcycle is getting when there is a 15 lakh exotic beauty standing next to it there was one another motorcycle with me which was an exotic motorcycle not a cruiser obviously uh, they don't want that motorcycle they just told that okay you keep that away we just need this motorcycle so that's the kind of attention this motorcycle get and royal enfield has done a 10 by 10 job on this i mean look at the kind of premiumness that you see across the motorcycle you have beefy tires that upside down fox even though it doesn't have so much of travel that looks nice greater rake angle the tank design which is actually classic uh, and that white rider seat and a small pillion seat that also gives a look i'll come back to that point where it is comfortable or not and from this angle this just looks like a harley davidson i mean i really don't want to compare now this with a harley davidson because now ryan field is setting a standard and let's keep the super meteor as it is this looks damn awesome only one update which i have is that if they could have given a different tail light it would have been nice so let's walk to the front again so this comes with an led headlight uh, in my personal opinion the throw of the headlight is not good in the sense the throw the vision everything is good the thing is the intensity of the leds are not that great so visibility is less if you plan to go for night rides definitely you need a brighter auxiliary light and the new tire profiling is good in the sense it is giving a lot of confidence previously interceptor was having a wobbling issue i think by around 160 or 170 but on this one i could do a top speed of 160 but in all these speeds the tires are holding up well there are no uh, vibration or any wobbling issues from the front side and it comes with upside down fox uh, the suspension feel is a little tight <laughs> that's my personal feel it's slightly onto a harder side it is directly hitting onto the shoulder so we can literally feel that and the rear suspension are also same uh, i have adjusted the rear suspension to the softest setting possible but still so actually when you ride this motorcycle you get a feel that you are riding a tough motorcycle so altogether the right feel is little onto a tighter side because of this suspension setting and if you look at the brakes the front brake is kind of average but you come to the rear brake you see a bigger disc over there so the main braking capacity comes from the rear side and it works perfect because the braking capacity on this motorcycle is too good and when it comes to the seating even though this motorcycle is claimed as a lower seat height motorcycle generally 
Uh, if you have to sit on the cruiser, we'll be sitting over here. But if you sit over here with my height, I am not having a completely planted foot because that's a kind of cruiser riding feel. You see that I don't have a completely planted foot, so I have to come forward. So inside city, I had to come a little forward to have a planted foot if required. Let's go for a ride. Before that, let's hear the exhaust sound. So as per Royal Enfield, the air intake, the exhaust and the tuning has been changed from the interceptor. So this sounds a little different. It sounds good as well. And by the way, absolutely no vibration. This is such a smooth engine in any rev bands. No vibration at all. So let's listen to this. So before we roll on, let me just walk you through all the switches on the handlebar. So on this side, we have an I button here where we can toggle it through the trip meters over there and we can reset the trip meters if required and we have adjustable levers over here on both sides and this aluminium touching is good so this is the high beam and the low beam and the pass switch indicator and the horn and on the side we have the ignition and the caution lamp switch pretty basic and then it comes over here here I have a little bit of disappointment because a Royal Enfield could have really given a different meter for this and the console looks just like the Meteor 350 and what I heard is that currently Meteor 350 doesn't get this stripper navigation that means this became a premium product now just now so I really feel that Royal Enfield could have given a different console on this so it's pretty basic here you see the speedometer the fuel level indicator which is kind of accurate by far this is the most accurate fuel gauge that I've seen with uh, any Royal Enfield and when you press this button over here, it toggles through two trip meters and the autometer. That's all. Pretty basic. You have the gear shift indicator. And in the trip navigation, you can connect to your mobile phone and have the directions. So, yeah. Let's go for a ride. Alright. This is going to be a small road. So, you can see how I'm going to take a U-turn. So, the turning radius is a little low. I mean, that is understandable for a cruiser motorcycle turning this motorcycle is not so easy because of two reasons one it is heavy because when you take a u-turn that too especially when the road is not so flat you get to feel that heaviness so it's a little difficult to take u-turns so you have to plan yourself by the way it's not going to be a too hard task it's going to be a hard task only when you wanted to take the u-turn in one go which uh, generally don't happen especially on this kind of roads we cannot take it on one go the thing is we have to adjust a couple of times and we'll be able to take a u-turn and uh, heaviness heaviness is one thing on this motorcycle when you take a u-turn because when you take a u-turn you start tilting the motorcycle and you can start feeling the weight otherwise uh, if you are riding it straight absolutely no problem you see that i don't find too much efforts in maneuvering this motorcycle even in that kind of a stretch and when it's rolling this motorcycle is actually weightless in my opinion this motorcycle actually feels lighter than a interceptor 650 i can tell you the reason because the interceptor 650 has an engine towards a little taller side so the difference is on this motorcycle we have a better center of gravity in the sense the center of mass is on to a lower side which makes this motorcycle easy to ride and let me just talk about the riding posture on this motorcycle so we have the cruiser kind of a setting for the foot pegs i'm kind of used to this kind of a setup now uh, in the day one i was feeling so weird riding this motorcycle because i have to keep my legs so far away from me i'm i'm kind of a sports guy so this is a cruiser setup so we have to expect that a proper cruiser setup that's what i can say and the rider's triangle is good in the sense if we are sitting in that correct u-shaped seat that means to the rear side of the seat we have a completely relaxed lower body and for my height what i feel is that we have to put a little bit of lean angle uh, to the upper body to grab onto the handlebars so that's where i fell this motorcycle is actually meant for european market or to export from india uh, so just by looking at the seat height i thought this is going to be a good motorcycle for short riders uh, obviously this is kind of an okay motorcycle for short riders but i feel this is going to be a good motorcycle for tall riders because if you have a longer upper body then what i feel is that you have a better reach to the handlebar for a short guy you need the handlebar a little bit closer to the rider's body so until now that's the observation and this actually matters a lot when you go for touring because on touring what happened is that see with this kind of a riding brochure you're gonna have a lot of wind blast you have to expect it so there are two kind of wind blasts that you're gonna expect one is towards your upper body and the other one is towards your lower body so uh, on this one the industrial variant we don't have a touring visor so obviously you have to deal with it so your chest hairs are gonna suffer for this with the celestial variant and all you'll get it you'll get a touring visor which is going to be comfortable for uh, highway touring but the thing is 
when you have this kind of a uh, riding Porsche and when you go on a high speed say 140 and all the wind actually comes and directly hit your chest and what you are doing is you are trying to just hold on to the handlebar like that so that will create a lot of pressure onto your shoulder and as well the suspension setting is onto a harder side so you can make it out from my voice itself even I can really feel each and everything on the road so that means the suspension is also acting a little stiffer and that actually brings in a little bit of uh, pain onto the shoulder if you are not in the correct riding posture so put a little bit of lean angle to your front body so that you have this kind of a parallel arm posture which is actually a very good riding posture so it's not going to be a completely set back and riding posture it only happens for tall guys so for short guys we have to put a little bit of lean angle to the upper body so that's the essence of it and the second wind blast which i was mentioning is the which comes under the motorcycle so literally this motorcycle can go to a speed of 160 and after 140 for me for a person who weighs 65 kg i have enormous amount of wind blast from the lower side in the sense the wind actually comes and touches my riding boot so my riding boot is like this and the wind is actually hitting it and trying to lift my leg i mean this is the first time i'm experiencing something like this the wind is actually trying to hit it and try to lift my legs and at 160 when i was doing the top speed i was literally trying to hold on to the motorcycle and trying to press it so all the four pressure points on the motorcycle like the handlebars and the foot pegs i'm trying to put a lot of pressure so i'm trying to pull the handlebar and push the foot pegs so this is the kind of riding posture that you're gonna have if you're planning for a uh, highway cruising in high speeds so that is gonna put a little bit of uh, a different effort from your side so this is one observation which i found thinking from a user point of view so now let's talk about the engine which is the core of this motorcycle by the way this engine is so refined and so sweet to ride because uh, as for me this motorcycle is meant for mid rev ranges in the low rev band it it acts like a beginner motorcycle you know it doesn't intimate you at all like it has a it has a decent torque oh you see that difference in the voice right it is because we have these minor humps on the road and the suspension is actually giving it to me completely all right let's come back to the engine so the engine is actually tuned for a mid-range so even in the sixth gear you can be in the 60 speed and the motorcycle is completely comfortable so one good thing is that if you are riding inside city you can be in the third gear or the fourth gear and just roam around comfortably so the engine is so stress-free and if you wanted to give some gas let's do that it's the second gear In no time actually it crosses the 100 kmbh mark and actually the stiffer suspension gives you a better stability on high speeds so i'm thankful for that so that's the feedback from the engine and if you ask me if there are any heating issues on this motorcycle uh, there are heating issues on the motorcycle but you never get to know if the motorcycle is moving the reason is because you're keeping your legs to your front so that means <laughs> that's the kind of attention we are getting it he wanted to take some video it seems all right yeah so you're keeping your legs to your friend so the engine is actually sitting just under the thigh so the wind actually carries away all the heat from the motorcycle outside the rider's body so that's something really nice but we'll be having a little bit of a problem if you are riding this motorcycle in city because in bumper to bumper traffic this is going to hit and we'll be keeping our legs down so there is one portion where we literally touches the engine so there is nothing over here if I'm not wearing a pan, then I'm gonna touch the engine directly with my leg and that is going to burn my skin. So in that way, I'll say that if you are running in bumper to bumper traffic, that to slow moving speeds and uh, wearing a shorts and all, then only you'll have a heating issue. Otherwise, you are not going to have any heating issues on this motorcycle. And the major question, does this motorcycle have a ground clearance issue? Let me just pull back the suspension once again. The suspension is on to a stiffer side. Even though this motorcycle has 135 mm ground clearance, which is on par with the superbike, this doesn't have any suspension problems until now. Seven days, 1,200 kilometers. Not even single time I have hit the underbelly pan. Not even single time because the suspension doesn't have that much of a play, so it's not going and coming back. I have a CBR 650 r which has a softer suspension setup and 135 mm ground clearance. It just goes everywhere, kisses the hums, and come back. I am actually a user of a 135 mm ground clearance, but on this one there are no ground clearance issues absolutely no problem but now let's look at the braking feel so as i mentioned the braking feel is actually 50 50 uh, you have to put a little more 
braking from your rear side and the rear brakes are actually a little on the sharper side compared to other motorcycle the front one has a spongy feel it, it actually helps you in controlling the motorcycle and slowing it down the rear one is actually doing the correct job so combinedly this has a very good braking feel that's what i'll say and now let's look at the clutch and the gearbox so the clutch on this motorcycle is still onto a heavier side and uh, that is actually going to be a little bit of problem if you are running this motorcycle more than half an hour in bumper to bumper traffic because you're going to do this thing and uh, uh, you're going to have a little bit of pain on your left hand uh, to give you a feedback on the gearbox the gearbox is good it's decent just like the gearbox that we have seen with other motorcycles from royal enfield especially on the 650 cc actually if you are maintaining the chain well you, you don't have any false neutrals no problem you have precise shifting and all if you are not maintaining a chain then you can feel that the shifting is slower or there's some trouble you're not able to find the neutral properly those kind of things are occur otherwise absolutely no problem with the gear shifting also and now let me talk about the tires so this comes with the new tire and this tire has good confidence if you are going on high speeds and when you're doing emergency braking there's absolutely no problem with it but only one place where i found this tire is not holding up well is gravel so and it is expected that this motorcycle doesn't go off road but still if you are actually pushed by someone to the roadside and all i mean that literally can happen in india so if that kind of a scenario comes in and you get into gravel a little difficult to control because the bike starts wobbling there is one more scenario like uh, in on the road you might have seen that kind of undulation like our road is little onto a taller side and you have that kind of a, a separation between the tarmac in these scenarios what generally happen with sports motorcycles or normal naked motorcycles is that when your front tire clears it if you are coming down or you're climbing up uh, during this transition if your front tire clears that's it the job is done you're good to go and you can throttle and uh, you can safely move out of that situation but on this one it is not like that it's not the front tire both the tires has to clear it properly until then you have to be a little careful because i have seen this so if you have to cross that kind of a, a transition on the road you have to make sure that your rear tire is also clearing until you are out of that alert mode and the build quality on the motorcycle is absolutely brilliant on this motorcycle i have no words for it except one thing the welding the welding on this motorcycle is not that great i, I saw that I and mean, a couple of places the welding done are not so great it is not actually in par with the build quality that Royal Enfield has given on the other places. You look at the Showa suspension, you look at the handlebar, look at the tank. Now the tank actually comes with a hinge. So that's also a nice touch. So altogether great quality but, but the weldings, weldings could have been done nicely. Now let me talk about the seating comfort on this motorcycle. So literally the seat is giving a lot of confidence when you go on high speed and all. But if you ask me if it's the softest seat that I've come across, obviously not. The seat is a little onto a harder side. I believe that the celestial variant will have the touring seat that is going to be a nice accessory if you are looking for long saddles in my personal opinion don't really think of having a pillion for long rides for short rides inside city rides it is okay so the sitting portion for the passenger is okay but the seat is very thin and it is tough as well so it's not so recommended uh, that person is not going to have a good comfort now let's look into the ownership part of this motorcycle so this motorcycle actually comes in on road bangalore for around uh, 4 lakh 55 thousand variant above this uh, comes for around 4 lakh 70 thousand and the one below this comes for around 4 lakh 40 thousand so in my opinion this is a decently priced motorcycle and uh, what i believe is that royal enfield is going to uh, manufacture this motorcycle in india and gonna have a lot of sales outside so in that way i'll say that yes the price is kind of okay i don't really say that it is overpriced and all it is okay unless it doesn't cross the five lakh mark and uh, looking at the mileage so i have done uh, three full tanks on this motorcycle and the first time i got a mileage of 22 kmpl and the second time i got a 25 kmpl so i got the 22 when i was completely blasting at 140 and all all the time and the second time i was a little more mellow on the throttle and i was cruising around 100 80 to 100 and i got a 25 kmpl so that's my personal feedback on the mileage but what i got to know from the showroom is that they were expecting a better mileage like 30 off from the motorcycle but i really didn't got it probably you have to ride it like that so if you are doing some reviews and all the time riding like this then yes you'll be able to do that but this motorcycle is gonna give you a lot of enjoyment when you ride it on the highway like you wag it up you get that feel of riding it so i think you're gonna enjoy riding this motorcycle at a speed of 120 more than 80s so that's the mileage part and the motorcycle actually goes for service once in 5000 kilometers like the paid service and uh, it will generally cost something like 3000 to 4000 rupees and also alternate service like once in 10000 kilometers uh, we have to change the engine oil and that'll be an additional cost 
So now let's come to the verdict. Should you buy this motorcycle? Uh, what I'll tell is that if you're someone who was actually looking forward for a proper cruiser powerful motorcycle for a very very long time, then this is a motorcycle for you. Say you are someone who have been riding an Avenger for very long and don't want to get into a Harley Davidson which is actually a bit expensive to maintain, bigger motorcycle, you will have part issues and of course it's a heating machine. So definitely go and ride this motorcycle, you'll like it. And now let's say you are someone who's pretty beginner, you are just comfortable with scooters and uh, you wanted to upgrade to a motorcycle then what I'll say is that get some experience on some other end field or some other smaller motorcycle like 150cc motorcycle learn from it and come to this motorcycle but the reason is because you might find it easy to ride this motorcycle but if you tip over then you're gonna fall really bad what I meant is that taking it from the parking and if you have to take a U-turn and all it's going to be a little bit of task uh, don't really put a lot of pressure on any initial days so just learn something on a 150cc or buy some old bullet and uh, ride it and you'll be able to comfortably come to this motorcycle and now let's say if you are already on to an interceptor 650 or a gt650 should you come to this motorcycle what i'll say is that if you really wanted to get the cruiser feel come to this or else you're having a nice time on your motorcycle just stay there and the next category i already have an older end feel i already have a bullet should i come to this because this looks more cruiser than my older bullet then also i'll say that yes sir you have a very good motorcycle, the vibrations are pretty less compared to the older models and you have a better ergonomics on this. Try taking it aside, I'm pretty sure that you like this motorcycle. So that's my whole personal take on riding this motorcycle for this long and I hope this video is helpful for you. And I'm not trying to uh, cry over here saying that I've ridden this many long kilometers and all. But what I feel is that if this video has helped you in any manner, show some love in the form of likes and comments. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.